Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kirk Meadows. I'm a comedian. I'm in North Miami, Florida. Happy August, everyone. Today, I want to do... First of all, I want to thank everybody for sticking around. I've been away for a while, missing in action. Sorry. Um, what I've been doing is I've been working, I've been lazy, and I've been writing for another comic. So uh, I've been doing stuff, but I've been lazy too. So welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thanks for sticking around. I, I only lose like a few, few people. So that's good too. That's good too. Uh, thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate it. Today I want to just do a reaction to the Knives Knowles divorce fiasco. First of all, I'm a big fan, and I, this is not a negative. This is not a negative post at all. First, I want to say that uh, I really enjoyed the channel. Initial for their, uh, for those who don't know, their. They're a young couple with three kids. They've been doing YouTube for now eight, about eight years. Um, they have three kids and the husband, after a few episodes of, of, of cheating, he decided he doesn't want to be married anymore. Austin Knowles is his name and Brittany is his wife and he has three kids. They have three kids together. So, um, about two weeks ago, he announced that uh, they're getting divorced. Uh, and he, he said it was uh, his doing and said it was his, he, he initiated the divorce and he, he's the one who didn't hold up his end of the vow. And he said, don't blame Brittany, who's Brittany's his wife. And he also said that he can't go on hurting her, which, which is very noble, but in effect, he's saying, I'm not going to get better. That's the, they went to therapy for a year, but it seemed that he's decided that he's going to give up. He's not, because he said he can't keep hurting Britney the way he's, he's doing. So he's just going to break off the relationship, which is noble in a sense, but it's also bad because he's not taking care of his demons. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, he can break it off with Britney and he'll, he'll feel the liberty and freedom of being on his own and not having to answer to a woman and not having to be faithful but eventually he's going to get lonely he's going to fall into another relationship and I just feel if you don't take care of the demons that next relationship is going to suffer the same fate as this one here so if you have a habit of abusing relationships you need to deal with that problem you can't just move on to another relationship. It doesn't work that way. I know he's going to feel a lot of freedom and a lot of less criticism because no one's out there saying, hey, this is... So he needs to deal with his demons. The next thing is he gave her the... He gave her the... Um, he gave her the channel. He turned the channel over to her. The channel used to be the knife nose. Now it's Britney Space. But I'm feeling... I saw the initial... I think today was the first video. Today is Wednesday, August 22nd. And the first video was was uh, their daughter. I don't want to get too much into names. But anyway, and um, I think the, the video, the, the channel has changed a lot because she was kind of the reasonable one to his kind of crazy creative energy. And she was the one that would kind of rope him back in. She was the, um, she was the Lamont to his Sanford. You know what I'm saying? She was the one that would bring the, you back. To, she would like bring it back. But now you don't have that, she don't, you don't have that creative energy. I don't think she has 
the same creative energy that he has and the same the same uh, that ability to just skew out and then come back she's more a realist she's more a down-to-earth person she's um, so the channel's changing she wants to change the channel to bring peeps stuff like bring bring elements to people life and you can get something from the channel like something more honest rather than entertainment she wants to be more of a channel that can motivate and encourage and give you ideas that you can apply to your life um, Austin wasn't at that kind not so much that type okay uh, the second point is Brittany thanks thanked everybody for sticking around the channel she was kind of graceful and not going that son of a bad 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 how can he do this to me uh, she wasn't like that she was like really cool about it she's um um I would I think she's talking about doing a fishes program she's very fit and she's very energy so uh, I hope that works out and I hope the channel works out because it's not gonna be it's it's a whole different crowd you can't I'm a comedian so you can't go to a show you can't I'm a comedian and uh, once in a while a club would call me to headline for somebody or not even headline to feature or the headline for somebody else audience it's somebody else audience they expected to see a and then I show up and I know what that's like cuz my energy is different they grew up with this person, they're a fan of this person, they came to see them, and then I show up, and then the audience, you can sense the disappointment, and you can sense the change in energy in the room, and you try your best, <laughs> but, and that's what I feel for her, I feel like she's going to have a problem converting his audience, keeping his audience. And uh, I hope the channel survives and I hope she finds a way to like find her own path and find her own connections and get her own audience. And that's my take on that. I've been totally obsessed with this I, far more than I should have been. I'm totally obsessed so uh, that I just had to do this. Sorry. This is, thanks for sticking around for my channel and that's my two cents on that and I wish them both the best but I think that Austin Knowles have to check himself and uh, get better first before he move on okay thank you bye bye now